Welcome to BPEC YouTube channel. So today let's learn about AI and Gen AI roadmap for 2024. So now everyone are planning to get a job in 2024 on AI and Gen AI. So even if you are browsing across various news on uh, like related to AI and Gen AI, like majority of the companies are trying to initiate Gen AI related projects and they are hiring the team relevant to gen ai generative ai even if you are able to log into linkedin and if you are able to check related to various job portals on ai you are able to see gen ai skill set even if you are looking at a machine learning engineer job profile you are able to see a bit of gen ai skill set which we call llms large language models and all that so now today we will be learning more about the roadmap how, how exactly someone need to make a transition into ai so from a complete zero so I'm a guy like I'm zero, let's say I'm from mechanical or I'm from non-technical background. So now and I want to make a transition into AI. So what is a plan? So someone need to go for it. So for that reason, so let's try. So I divided this entire roadmap into few building blocks if you are able to see it. So now this is your AI roadmap. The first one, we call it as fundamentals. Another one, we call it as statistics. And below I gave the weightage, the importance in lines of your interviews. And then I gave data visualization, ML, DL, Gen AI, LLMs, AI ops related skill set. Now, what we will be doing is the very first. So whenever you are planning to get into AI related profile or a Gen AI related profile, the very first skill you need to target is your fundamentals. What are fundamentals? So whether you are planning to be a data scientist or whether you are planning to be a data engineer or whether you are planning to be a data analyst or even a data what is that AI engineer, any of these profiles, the common skill set is the fundamentals. So you need to be very good with your Python and you need to be very good with your SQL. You are able to see this. The very first one is you need to master your fundamentals, which are your Python, SQL. So Java is not mandatory. So if you are already having a Java knowledge, that would be an advantage. So between Python and Java, if you want, you can choose even Java. But personally, whenever you are getting into AI profiles, Python would be a very good choice. So these are the fundamentals. So whenever you are going to this fundamentals, mostly like interview questions may be around your SQL and Python based or coding challenges, you may be getting it if you are a very fresher, not for experience. For example, I'm already having 10 plus years of experience. Do I have an coding challenge? The answer is no, you may not have a coding challenge, but you will be having a problem statement related to AI where you need to solve it within 24 hours, you need to submit to them. Now coding challenges, which you see in your uh, what is that? As a fresher, you may not see it for an experienced people. But for freshers, yes, you may be getting coding challenges related to your Python and related to your Java. First, you are mastering your fundamentals. Once your fundamentals are good, then, so now here the weightage we are giving is 100% weightage. Why it is 100% is without Python programming and without SQL, I think you cannot flourish in AI roles. Why? So now whenever you are going into AI roles, you cannot be a minimal programmer. You cannot be a big enough programmer. So now it doesn't mean like, hey, I need to know or I need to master data structures and algorithms. It's not like that. So if someone is giving you a task, you need to be in a position to write down a code for it. So now as an AI engineer, we read the research papers and we try to write down a code around it. So for that reason, you need to have a very good solid knowledge on programming, which is very important. And you need to know about a bit of like uh, SQL related data retrieval commands and all that, which is very, very important. That's the reason SQL and Python are the pillars. You need to master it. And in lines of interviews, they're going to be 100% weightage. So, okay, like I completed Python and SQL, then what is the next step? Then you need to be very good with your basics, which we call it as statistics. So now if you, if you are planning normally, uh, the path to AI profile is every time to go through data science. So if you are a data scientist and then getting into AI it would be very easy. But if you are trying to be a AI engineer from the scratch means like you never been a data scientist, you want to get into AI profile, then I suggest so whenever you're getting into AI indirectly you're going through a path of data scientist. So you need to master statistics. So statistics are very, very important. So like as we discussed, like uh, in statistics, you'll be having probability theory, Bayesian concepts, you'll be having hypothesis testing, you'll be having descriptive statistics, central limit theorem, law of large numbers, so your normal distributions, Poisson distributions, all this. So now these concepts are very important whenever you are saying, hey, I'm into statistics or I'm into AI. So next step is you need to master your statistics. 
you need to complete it and even in interviews yes they're going to be 100% weightage and the next and the next part or the third part is called as data visualization this is not that mandatory for a ai engineer but if you are a data scientist data visualization going to be very important but as an ai engineer or a gen ai guy i think the knowledge on data visualization tool is not that mandatory why so if you look into the knowledge wise or if you look into the complexity wise if data visualization is at complexity 1 ai and gen ai going to be at a complexity 10 now as a ai and gen ai even in the future if you want to learn about uh, your data visualization tools that may not be that complex for you easily you can learn it that's the reason even in the interviews they may not focus much on your data visualization tools like power bi tableau or even your uh, etl tools like altrix they may not focus much on that so they their primary goal going to be on stats and the next primary goal going to be on your ml dl gen ai you are able to see this this part is very important so you, if you say if you go for an interview majority we can say 90% of your interview questions come from this particular divisions a machine learning deep learning generative ai large language models within generative ai we got large language models so like uh, whatever the projects we are doing we call them as ai ops means like if you are applying devops related pipelines to an artificial intelligence project we call it as ai ops now the same devops principle if you go and apply to machine learning we call it as ml ops and we need to know about a bit of azure and aws so we no need to learn both any one why so in order to do ai ops or to do ml ops we do that in your azure related uh, pipelines or we do it in aws that's the reason cloud based knowledge is very important and here you have a skill set so now the interview questions going to be even the sequences if you are planning to ai role first you need to master machine learning and once you master machine learning then you need to master natural language processing and then if possible master deployment and then get into deep learning so you are generative models within generative models we got large language models and uh, what are all the projects you are working you are doing in an ml ops pipeline or an ai ops pipeline that need to be your life cycle so now if you are able to complete even the project as if you are able to work on one project on machine learning one project on nlp and one project on your deep learning like like you say computer vision and one project on your generative ai and one end to end project using ml ops or ai ops that going to be a very uh, like great resume so you can explain you will be having a tremendous confidence and you can explain the things with ease near the interview so now if you have some real world projects it's not like the simple kaggle projects they are easy to do so but if you take up some complexity if you increase the complexity at a real world level and if you do it that going to create a lot of weightage in your profile and see these are the points i think whenever you are getting into ai and gen ai i think you have all the skills that whichever i said uh, here so like what are all the skills i placed here the same skill set so here we have it so python etl using python data visualization is not that important so we are giving less weightage data structures and algorithms if you learn if you are a fresher i am giving 100% weightage sql which is important and this is also not needed so data visualization as a ai engineer data visualization is having a less weightage forecasting yes we can give it as a more weightage we can give 100% excel not that important so statistics is important again 100% weightage machine learning yes it is the core important and nlp is important ml ops is important deep learning is important so we do deep learning algorithms using tensorflow and spark so within deep learning we got computer vision within deep learning we got lstms within deep learning we got rnns so within deep learning we got attention based models encoder decoders within deep learning we got generative ai so now within generative ai again we got a deeper skill set if we go to gen ai we got large language models gpt models transformers diffusion in this way we have all this and within large language models or generative models we have a technique called as prompt engineering so why in order to make your model to work better or to do better we got prompt engineering we got fine tuning we got pre training we are, we got rhq so now this is the overall um, skill set which which is someone need to learn to target ai related jobs or ai related careers a we, this career is mostly ai plus gen ai so let's say you can't we already have a skill set related to this so i already know machine learning and all that so i know up to machine learning so i am a data scientist i know up to machine learning then i want to make myself into gen ai then what to do you want to learn this deep learning skill set 
plus you want to learn this generative AI skill set. By learning this, you can target mostly AI roles and genai related roles, you are able to target it. Now the very simple success formula for any career transition is this. Now whenever you are targeting your jobs, so what, the, what are all the content we said? It is able to give you 33% chances to crack a job. So whatever the content I said, it is a job ready content. So by learning that content, you are able to master any job only 33%. So now another 33% is the projects which you have in your profile. So by having, so if, 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 you, if there are anyone who already learned something and who already giving interview tries, they will be knowing that. So learning a skill set, getting a good certificate from big, big colleges, they are actually not helping the people to get a job. So now what they are doing, they are struggling to get some internships and all that. So if they have internships, yes, the resume is getting shortlisted. Even they are saying if they give a call, hey, you, are, you, you, you don't have an experience, we are unable to give an opportunity. So if you have the uh, means like portfolio in your resume, means if you have some real world projects in your resume, you are able to have another 33% chances. So 33 plus 33, overall 66% chances you have to crack an interview. And another 33 is how you speak in your interview. So we call it as convincing. So now very simple. So whenever you go to an interview, you want to demonstrate confidence. And if, we, if they're asking any question, you need to be in a position to convince them with confidence. That is very, very important. You need to speak about the project. You need to be confident with your work you dance. You need to convince them to hire you. So now another 33% weightage is with your convincing skills in your interviews. So this three combo going to give you a successful transition or we can say 100% career transition. For example, so this is the simple roadmap. Like uh, you can do all this roadmap through a self-study. You can take up a recording and you can do it. But make sure you are learning a job-ready content. You are not just learning some uh, regular what it is. So what it is doesn't help you. So like you need to have a deeper knowledge about real time. So like uh, how someone uses those concepts in a real time. So learning statistics is easy. But how you use it in a real time is very important. When to use them is important. And why to use them is important. For example, if you need any of this, uh, whatever the roadmap I gave it, if you want to learn so deep, and if you want to work on real world portfolio, and if you want to gain the convincing skills to crack in the interviews for all the three things to make a successful transition, we are running AI and Gen AI career transition program with remote internship. So it comprises of data structures algorithms, it comprises of real world projects, all the real world projects on machine learning. So your computer vision, large language models, your uh, transfer learning, we, we can say it like, we can take any pre-trained model, we can build a transfer learning model. So we have MLOps related projects, AOps related projects, forecasting projects, reporting projects, all this we have it. So like if anyone are interested, you can take up our AI and Gen AI career transition program, which covers data structures and algorithms plus remote internship. So now the duration going to be like uh, one year. If anyone are interested, you can enroll into our program. So, but before enrolling, if you need to speak with me, for example, each person going to have their own customized uh, roadmap, means like each person going to have their own challenges, their own requirement, their own timeline. So if you want to have a call with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can just book it, the links are in the description.